If it's happening in our community, we're keeping you in the know. Aaron, 649 here on your Tuesday morning. This might be a familiar face to some viewers. She's usually on at night, but she's here early this morning. Amy Burnett, welcome. Thank Thanks you for coming so much in. Thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely, of course. So we're talking today about something really awesome that you're involved in. It's the Extreme Huntress Competition. Mm -hmm. You've been selected out of thousands of women across the globe. Talk a little bit about it. So the Extreme Huntress Competition is an opportunity for us to preserve our hunting heritage and create positive role models for women. And so... 20 semifinalists were selected from, I don't, I'm not sure how many women, mm -hmm. all, like you said, all around the globe. And we now have one month to talk about the c competition and drum up as many online votes as possible. The top six women will then go to the 777 Ranch in Texas in July and compete in a skills competition. Wow, which is so incredibly cool. We're seeing some video of it right now. Um, talk about now how we can go and vote. Okay, so if you want to vote, you go to extremehuntress.com and there's a vote tab. Okay. And my name is Amy Burnett Hartwig on there because that's, right. my, that's my married name. Some of you may or may not know that. <laughs> and so you'll see it here pop up in the video. There I am. There so she is. So you click right the tab, there. it's super easy, and then you literally just hit vote and that's mm -hmm. it. And um, the women. The, the top six with the most votes mm -hmm. will end up in Texas. So Amy needs your votes. I Please do need head over votes. to that website and get your votes in because she needs your votes. Absolutely. Um, now, like we were talking about earlier, it's out of the entire globe, like right. the whole world. What does something like this mean to you? Because that's a huge honor. It really is. It's a huge honor just to be included in this top 20. But I love that it's an opportunity for you know, those women to go and say, this is what my state has to offer and this is what I bring to the table. And so there's actually two women from Idaho this year, which I was super excited to oh, see. Wow. She's out of Boise, I'm out of Twin Falls. And um, so it was really exciting to see that we're here and we're yeah. competing in the big leagues for this. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That is incredible. Such an honor. Um, now, you are the original Cosmopolitan Huntress. That's right. <laughs> um, for those of you who don't know, she is a big hunter. She loves it. She goes every weekend. Um, talk about kind of being the cosmopolitan huntress and what it, what it is. Well, I developed this blog and website as a way for me to journal my hunting and outdoor experiences, but also kind of share my successes and I guess quote unquote failures, mm -hmm. if you will. I don't consider any of them failures because yeah. they're all learning experiences. And I really wanted to create something by a woman for women because we are the fastest growing demographic mm -hmm. in the industry and so as such I think it's important to have positive role models yeah and we just added two pro staff members to the mix this year both local girls oh wow both bow hunters so it's it's really neat I have Jen Smith and Lisa Ward as okay. my my two pro staff girls mm -hmm. um, Jen is a very accomplished bow hunter and Lisa's really just getting started and I thought that was a good mix because it kind of yeah. en encompasses all of the industry. Yeah, now have you guys gone out on a hunt together yet? We have not, because we just added them in January, okay. but I'm really looking forward to hunting with these ladies. Yeah, now what are you currently hunting for right now? Spring bear. Uh, <laughs> okay, explain like how you even go out. I would be terrified. I would not for one second be going out to look for bears. Well, I have a rifle. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but still, it just terrifies me. Um, yeah. How do you go about hunting bears? Well, I actually decided to hunt spring bear because uh -huh. uh, there's not a whole lot of animals that I'm afraid of, but I am afraid of bears. Uh -huh. And so, as such, I thought it was really important for me to conquer that fear. And so, I just said, forget it. Uh -huh. I'm going to do this. And, um, yeah. How's it going so far? Um, it's going all right. We have not seen any bears. Uh -huh. We've seen a lot of other great animals, animals uh -huh. and, and stuff. So, we actually got some really cool... Um, Trail cam footage. So if you had to Cosmopolitan Huntress on Facebook, you can mm -hmm. see it. We've got some elk and a uh, sly little fox coming yeah. into the bait barrel and stuff. So Okay, so now in our last 30 seconds, two things I want to talk about. You also make jewelry, yes. if you can't tell by the really cute necklace she's got on. <laughs> can you order that on CosmopolitanHuntress.com? No, that, you need to go to TwistedTinesDesigns.com. We're okay. also at the Farmer's Market most Saturdays, and we sell our stuff at Bella's. And it's just basically different types of mm -hmm. hunting jewelry. This is just one piece. We also do elk antlers, moose. It's so pretty. Bow and arrows. 
a, a shotgun shell earrings. We have a little bit of everything. Very cool, very cool stuff. Okay, one more time as we wrap up. How can we go vote one more time? Okay, yes, please vote for me. Extremehuntress.com backslash vote Amy Burnett Hartwig. I really appreciate the support. She needs your votes. We will have all that information up on our website, our Facebook, my Facebook, Jack's Facebook, everyone's Facebook. We need Amy to make it to the top six. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Thanks, Amy. Uh, still ahead here on Rise and Shine, it's our Facebook question of the day. Today we're asking, with American Idol being canceled, who is your favorite singer to come out of the show? We'll see you after the break.